Oh! There she is! Cover is just stunning. I am in shock that it actually worked. Hello, I hope you are well. This is going to be another weekly vlog where I'm just going to film my week. If there's anything interesting, I'll film it, I'll show you. It's currently Sunday evening and I don't know what we're going to do today, but I'll just film whatever it is and show you. Tom is just cleaning his side of the bed. Oh, don't be. <laughs> I would never allow my side of the bed to get that messy because my side of the bed is really clean, organised together. I would never make such a mess. What have I got on my side? Cups, cups, a candle, books, makeup, two empty bottles of water. We have loads of odd socks and then this drawer can actually be closed. I also have a collection of knives on my bedside table because <laughs> when we eat in this room, Dom always brings me a knife and fork but I don't normally use the knife. So here. We now have three clean knives and a clean fork because I used a spoon. So I'm just collecting clean cutlery. Can shut that. Got this from the tip as well. If you don't know the story of this, I think I've said it before. But I the tip is where you go to throw away things that are too big to go in bin bags for the rubbish. So sometimes they keep stuff like this and if anyone wants it. And I wanted it. I got it from the tip. How nice. With no, it looks nicer normally. This stuff is normally on it, like headbands and stuff. And then from a charity shop, I found this, which is exactly the same as it. it just doesn't have the gold on it here. These are jigsaws, if you're wondering. These are all like vintage jigsaws. These actually I got off my neighbour because she said, oh, um, you've got a vintage shop. So I was talking to her about it. And she said, I've got a load of jigsaws. And so I bought these off her. So I'll show you the first scene oh that's a nice scene what's the next one I'll pick a really nice one this one oh my god autumn time look at that you got the deers the changing leaves beautiful jigsaw but obviously I'm gonna have to count all the pieces to check they are all in there because she didn't know if they were so 2,000 and then I'll 1,200 Another 2,000 I'll have to count up. So back to the pit. Here I just have um, uh, a lint roller because I have a cat. So I think here's where I'm going to put my odd socks. Got makeup brushes, got another lint roller. The odd socks can just go in their den. I'm sure we have uh, coasters as well in the basement. So Dom's just looking for those coasters. So just, just you know. That's how I tidy. <laughs> Literally just shovel things in and then force it to close. And that's it. Got a bit of space in here. Can uh, <laughs> shovel some more things in. So I'll give you a little tour. Just got a Dettol wipe so I can clean the side. So here I have um, kind of like display things, so Chanel things. If I had all the money in the world, I would buy Chanel, but I just buy like perfumes, they're gifts. So I got this as a gift and the perfumes as a gift. And uh, just just cleaning the dust as we speak. So here we've got this little vintage swan. This was actually um, from, I think New Year's. It was on like a champagne. It was the first time we ever had champagne together. That's my hometown. Then got a little flowers in this inkwell, got a Anne Boleyn cigarette card. I sell these cigarette cards in the shop, got an elephant of course. But oh, the dust! So I got this, used to have ink in it, put a little bunch of flowers in it. Get the dust away from you, oh my god. A family friend got me that as a gift. And then um, this I actually got off eBay. <laughs> So this is this is an official Chanel box, but I did just get it off eBay for the display because I don't have any Chanel items other than the uh, makeup. So put my swan back. 
And then where's my jewellery elephant? Which is here. Little Anne Boleyn facing out. Oh, there we go. It's a picture of me in Dom's hometown, like an old picture. There. Put my shells back. Let's move this. This. It's a shell box. I need to put um, face wipes in it. I just put these in it, which I use to take my makeup off. So here is my shells with things in it. There. I then actually got this from a charity shop, this glass thing. And this is the Chanel makeup that I own, that I put there. I then have this trinket dish, which is a Peter Rabbit. Once upon a time, there, this needs dusting. This is, once upon a time, there were four little rabbits. It's a Wedgwood one, got it from a charity shop, of course. So I got that, and then, ooh, my jewellery on top of it. So a lot of this is uh, second-hand shops and gifts. I got that as a gift, really gorgeous. And then my um, ring, which I don't really wear my engagement ring, so I'm so worried I'm going to lose it. <laughs> so that's there. So there we go, nice and neat looking. I then have lipsticks and stuff here. And then this is all sea glass, which I haven't decided what I'm going to do with it, but it's just filled with bits of sea glass. I think I might try and make it into a bracelet, but I need to find a drill bit that will go through it. So I'll put that there getting a bit crowded here is what it looks like now nice and organized here that's a uh, when i went to go and see dita von t's i bought that so you can put makeup brushes or flowers in it whatever you want got my deer lamp that my mum got me so beautiful got my mary got three drinks on the go you should always have three drinks on the go <laughs> <laughs> I've got a Diet Coke, I've got a coffee, and then I've got a water. Have three drinks on the go. Not alcoholic drinks, because you would be dead. And here is my trinket dish. This is a Bramley Hedge. My mum got me this from a charity shop. Bramley Hedge Winter. Just stunning. So I put on here my everyday makeup that I use. It's a tester. Um, <laughs> if you buy anything from Chanel, you can get two free testers. So I just do that like I'll buy one thing and then just use the testers so this is a mascara I mean have you ever seen like a tester mascara look how good for free so um yeah for free there oh and a little uh, lip balm put that on there so that's my everyday makeup in the dish I've got this little elephant candle with cinnamon candle and there is my dressing table ignore this this mess right here I have the books that I'm currently reading I've got a notebook, I've got CDs, why have I got CDs? <laughs> no idea. Oh, I think this is for like when we go on a car journey. So I have Ultimate Disney, got that, these all my like teenage uh, CDs, because then after when I was a teenager, like people didn't really have CDs. So Ultimate Disney, oh my, knocked all my things, I knocked my Mary, but I caught her, so she's fine. So let's <laughs> just put that back. Uh, Professor Green, he's an English rapper. I don't even know if I'd listen to his music anymore. Pink, this is a uh, this is a relic. This is an antique. Pink misunderstood. Loved that album when I was a kid. And then I've got some knitting. Oh, this is actually a gift from my friend Laura, a journal, which I haven't used, but look how beautiful it is. And then you can fill up all the pages so gorgeous i think i'm gonna have it as like a diary but it is absolutely gorgeous so i'm gonna stack all that stuff back there but apart from this stuff what i'm reading a notebook the dressing table it still looks messy <laughs> just as i was looking at it i was like ah it still looks a state i like it quite cluttered things all over the place so here it is done also can i just point out another great um freebie is this chanel lipstick free when you buy anything it's got a, a brush a brush in it comes with a little free brush and then lipstick this you know i've used that a few times i haven't even gone to the to the, i never need to buy a chanel lipstick again <laughs> i haven't bought any chanel lipsticks but i don't need to because i can just get this freebie there look thick look how thick that amount is of lipstick free
also i will stop after this um they also give you free this is when if you buy online you get this stuff free oh look <laughs> two packet of another free beer got there um like moisturizers so you don't even need to buy moisturizers from them because if you buy anything you get so, so if you buy one single eyeshadow you still get the two free freebies oh, i can't do it with one hand Ta -da! this whole thing free when you buy one thing free me and dom are doing a deep clean of the house and so i'm actually going to get everything out of my cabinet and clean it so i thought i would show you this cabinet i got for 10 pounds it's not old it's actually new and someone's just stuck this on the inside the gold which i absolutely love and then i had a gold tassel that i got free from a gift set so i just put it on there and I actually think it looks really nice on it it's like a big cupboard so i'll show you what's in here i've got something out this is a figure that's made out of wax the whole thing the detail is so beautiful the um it's broken at the back so i need to seal that back together i used to be obsessed with fairies as a child so my parents always used to get me fairy ornaments so this is one of them she's on a toadstool really gorgeous just getting them out so i can like dust them i obviously love elephants and my dad actually happened to make this when he was a child this little elephant i then have my huge elephant i've got some there that have fallen over also this is really nice on the back the like gold material someone's put on it oh i've got a rabbit rabbit i had that as a kid and then this is my favorite elephant it's this gold one with a crystal in the middle i just think it's so gorgeous i'm actually going to put this i think on my dressing table so i can get it out i normally change things up so i'll have them here for a while and then i'll move them around the house to different places but this is really gorgeous all my elephants are from charity shops by the way so this gold one was just from a charity shop then i have some old dolls uh, this uh, my grandma actually gave to me it's a wolf lone wolf there <laughs> on a thing so cute see it around there i then if we go down i love these what do you call these corn dolls what are corn dolls because we don't really have that in england but in america you have like corn dolls is that what these are i just love them got a man and a woman uh my dad actually made this skull look how cool it is i got this aladdin and jasmine snow globe some beatrix potter oh that must go with that the two little rabbits I have, oh my god, this is so gorgeous. It's really old doll. It's, and it's all stitched on the face. Just stitches, so gorgeous. I have round there stuff that was my great grandmother's. So move this out of the way. The seal, this little seal there. And the cat was my great grandmother's. Oh, Bramley Hedge! Come through Bramley Hedge. I think I've I got another Bramley Hedge somewhere. Let's get this out of the way oh there she is oh my god there's so much behind here i got this i got from charity shop it's the uh notre dame and i had to glue it back because sabrina do you remember sabrina she accidentally knocked it with her tail so i glued it back two bramley hedges <gasps> his ear his ear i got these um second hand obviously little mouse oh and then her with her flowers and then this is actually something dom's um grandmother gave him it says merry christmas on the spoon and then look how like the detail is so beautiful on the uh, branch at the top really gorgeous and he actually got this as a child so that's why i put like stuff like that in here oh my god and then i've got this tried to shop um, <laughs> i have all these glasses got two elephants and these big glasses were actually um dom's parents got them when they got married so then they gave them to us they're really nice those glasses and these are just from a charity shop i actually think i'm going to change it up so normally it's quite mishmashed but i think this one i'm going to dedicate to antique dolls because i've got quite a few this one can be elephants and then little figures like this can kind of go at the top and then this will just be glasses and I'll take those elephants out. So here is what it looks like now. Top shelf is antique dolls. So you can see it there. Then going to mismatch 
really I kept it quite mismatched I also like how they kind of look like they're talking <laughs> I don't know why I put them like that look they look like they're like gossiping together they're like oh god yeah oh, I can't stand that one and they're gossiping about someone <laughs> on the shelf with them I then put the roses down here with the glasses I'm gonna put up a clock that my grandma gave me so here is before and here is after the clock actually matches my thing and she didn't know this because she's never been here because I live like oh my god oh my god I live far away from um from my grandma but she gave me this clock and look that gold is the same as that gold here how weird we both chose like something that's the same style can you see what I mean me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance Oh, I wish it was me Every night When I close my eyes I see We've just been cleaning up the house we're now going to watch this thing it's called the holiday it's a series on netflix and i got some things in the post i think these are engagement cards because me and don got engaged and our families have like told extended family members that we're engaged so i'm going to show you the cards first up we have this one congratulations on your engagement really cute this is from my aunt and uncle then i got this card and it has hearts in it so when you shake it up it's got all these little hearts it's so cute and this is from when i was a child the people that used to live next door to us is from them so like my old next door neighbors who we still keep in touch with what a gorgeous card and this is also such a gorgeous card with really nice messages inside i'm keeping all my engagement cards so that i can put them in a nice like folder all together so i'm gonna i'm gonna put these in my wedding file for now my wedding file is just here so you can see it's got all everyone's things in it to a special son and his future wife and then it has other cards in there as well this one's really nice this is um dom's grandma made this for us really gorgeous i haven't put much in my file so far because we contacted a venue and we're waiting for the venue to get back to us as to whether we can get married there my gorgeous little planner so we've got to wait because we've got to wait on the wedding day to see when it's going to be this is my dinner i have some broccoli this um stew and uh, mash veg mash that is a slimming world ready meal that i actually get from iceland it's such a lovely ready meal and then i just have some mint sauce here and it is so nice and this isn't mashed potato it's just a mix of vegetables they've made into a mash and this stew is just so good and then if you buy the ready meal it gives you the recipe on it as well but i just buy the ready meal to be honest with you but it's really really nice this is dom's food what have you got in here pasta cheese it's just tuna and pepper and chili and mayonnaise you might be a mayonnaise huh? oh that Come looks out. so good to face in this trashy bar another glass and i am going places makes me laugh about the irony of everything i like the way you're thinking i don't really care about the music on the dance floor i don't really mind all the smoke is in the back
good morning i'm just on the way to my shop i've just put my hair up in like a barn dom is just jump starting the car Might be able to. yes so um we got this like jump start kit and sometimes we have to jump start our car so it's just jump starting the car and then i'm going off to the shop but i'm not going to film anything at the shop so i'll probably see you when i'm back in the flat where you wanna go i am all about adventure times not a drink and I'll go anywhere The way you smile Like a flash in the universe I'm in my local supermarket So I thought I would just do a little video from the supermarket Showing you what books they've got So they have like new books but mm, They're all like celebrity books Oh, Tap to tidy what is that? Kind of like these, you know, Instagram books is what they've got. Instagram books. And this is all the celebs bits. And then, oh, wow. Look at that. How beautiful. Gorgeous. Obviously, J.K. Rowling. Robert Galbraith. More celebs, you can see. A lot of celebrity books. <gasps> Look at this Jack and Wilson one. Oh my god. That is so cute. Mm. Then you get into like fiction. So they got this cover is just stunning there's like no one around so if you're thinking like why is she being so loud there's no one here got some more the kids books are so cute look at these oh my god oh my god that is too cute oh oh is it like a you pull it up and then that's so cute I love all these Halloween ones it's like a little witch peekaboo pumpkin so cute and then other kids and then that's it so that's the whole book bit from like there to here we are just going home now the book selection was tiny and really sold out like everything there was only like cute little kids books and then not much else we're just at the there it's really like autumn weather because all the trees and if you can even see but they're all like rustling and it's all dark and wet I'll show you the window so you can see how like rainy it's been and everything but it didn't have a huge book section we went there just to get food shopping and now we're going home oh here you are face to face in this trashy bar another glass and i am going places makes me laugh about the irony of everything here is my dinner i have gammon steak i have mashed potato with cheese on soon world you're allowed 30 grams of cheese a day so i got that and then here i've got some pineapple that i just heated up just with water no oil and just browned in the pan good morning i'm just having my morning coffee and i'm probably not going to feel much today dom's parents have come to bristol to come and visit us which is really lovely so we're just going to spend time with them take them around bristol see where they want to go the weather it said it was going to rain but it actually looks really good weather so we might go on like a long walk around bristol and show them about so i'll just I probably won't film i'll probably see you back at the flat probably won't film it's kind of like awkward like i would hate it if i was with someone they were like sorry guys one sec one sec so and then started talking to a camera i'd be like oh my 
god can you be in the moment with us please i would never like do that to anyone and i would just hate it if someone did it to me so that's why i don't really film when i'm with family members with my family or dom's family it's just awkward and it takes you out at the moment so i you know if we see something interesting i'll crack my camera <laughs> also lola's here sleeping you're right beautiful I'm gonna attempt to make Slimming World Toad in the Hole. I've got vegetarian sausages. These are so good, the Linda McCartney ones. So if you're on Slimming World, it's only three sins a serving the way I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna halve the recipe that they have, and then I've got some veg, and then I've got some Slimming World gravy, which this is sin-free on Slimming World. This is so good, this roast onion. It's kind of, it's not thick like gravy. It's a bit vegetable stocky, but I really like it. So I'm gonna do all this and I'll show you how I do it. Also, I'm making it sound like I know what I'm doing, but I've never made something well toad in the hole. So you're gonna need 30 grams of flour, which is two tablespoons. Does anyone else measure everything in tablespoons? <laughs> I don't know why. I think it's from um, like when I first moved out, just not wanting to like get out my scales and being lazy that I just automatically look up everything in how many tablespoons it is, no matter what it is. So you have the flour. Then I'm going to add a kind of splash of milk. Then I'm going to add my eggs, which are in their little monks. I'm actually not going to put the eggs in yet. I'm going to add the water to it. So I'm going to add a splash of water, whisk this together, and then add three eggs. I'm going to attempt to crack an egg with one hand. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, oh, oh my god. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's the messiest way to crack an egg. I have my pan here that I'm going to put it in. Also, I burnt the side. So if you're wondering what this is, this is a burn mark. So our work surface is plastic and I put something hot on it and it went bang, this really loud pop. And if you're wondering what that is, <laughs> that is a burn mark. So here it is, the batter. I'm just going to pour it in and then place my sausages on top. So here it is here. This looks to me like it's going to be more like an omelette, which is fine by me but I don't see how this is gonna rise because that's quite a small amount of flour I don't know I don't get it how it's all gonna rise it just looks very watery and omelette -y at the moment but you've got to put it in the oven 25 minutes at 200 if you have a fan oven and then I'll get it out and we'll see what it does and these are also frozen so normally you'd use sausages and you cook them before and put them in but I'm doing it just with frozen sausages and these sausages take 25 minutes as well. So let's see. I am just now mashing the potatoes and we got some veg to have with it as well and then I'm gonna get out the toad in the hole and we'll see if it was a success or an absolute failure. I am in shock that it actually worked. I'm shocked. Look how much it's like puffed out. I didn't think there was enough flour in it but Obviously there is, there's my toad in the hole. It looks so good. Look at the batter. And it smells so good as well. So we're having um, toad in the hole. And then with mashed potato and vegetables, I'm having two sausages and Dom is having three sausages. As it was going so well, my gravy has exploded <laughs> all over the microwave. Look at this tart Don bought home for me. He bought one for himself as well. Patisserie. And it's got glitter all over it. It's a millionaire's tart is what it's called. Oh my God, look at that glitter. That is so cool. And it's like dry on top. I have no idea what's in it. What that is so cool I've had two bites and no it's not for me it's from sainsbury's these look really good but it's not for me but this isn't going to go to waste because don will eat it himself but it's so dry <laughs> me and don made this joke it's so dry because that's what i say about most foods i'm like i can't stand dry food i need loads of sauce on my food it's so dry We are off on a road trip with Dom's parents. I got my travel sickness bands on and 
we have quite a long drive ahead of us to get where we're going but before that we're going to this kind of beach town which we've already been there before me and Dom really like it there so we're going to this beach town and then we're going off to Devon with Dom's parents so I will film whatever is there we're going to Tar Steps is that right in Devon? Tar Steps in Devon so we're just in the car at the moment and I'll show you what I'm reading currently reading Ballet Shoes by Noel Strepfield. I'm really enjoying it. I haven't got much to go in it, but it is so gorgeous. Let me show you one of the illustrations in it. It's about three sisters and their different personalities, and I'm absolutely loving it. They also are, have started a ballet school, which is near them, and I, I love all the lodgers that live in the house with them. I'm really liking it so far, so I'm going to finish this off probably on the journey. You say take me on a treasure hunt I long for something new Have you heard the fairies when they sing and dance Oh I wish it was me We are here, we are in Lynmouth. If you follow me on Patreon, you've already seen this beach because this is where I slipped on the rocks. There was the drone incident. This is the beach, this is the beach where I had a, a very odd drone incident and where I slipped to my death on the rocks. <laughs> this is it, but Lynmouth is so beautiful. It has gorgeous little shops and it's just, it's almost like a step back in time, don't you think? It's very, yeah. Uh like quaint old-fashioned gorgeous so we're gonna go up the top can you see right up the top there and then we can have some lunch and then the water is beautiful here it's almost like little waterfalls they're really gorgeous and then go for a shop around the shops which i'm very excited for Are you excited mm -hmm. Are you excited to get your shop on yeah. Dom loves a little shop, don't you? <laughs> we both are like little shopaholics. We love a gift shop, a good gift mm. shop. We love. So um, I'll show you around Lynmouth. When I close my eyes, I see. The moors. I feel like I'm gonna die because there's no one here apart from like a man who I think is living in his van like a young man um, like not homeless like camping and that's it and then just me and Tom we went to Lynmouth and then I said let's get out and look at the moor but I feel like we could get terribly lost <laughs> look live from the moor we have some cow we have Dom trying to tell me to get back in the car because it's quite like just goes on forever and ever but it's so peaceful it's so nice we are going to Devon with Dom's parents on holiday so um, I think I'm gonna end this video here and then I'll start the next one at the hotel when we get there in Devon I'll just carry on filming but I don't want this to be too oh my god Heather, look how pretty this heather is. So 
so nice. So I will start filming, I'll just carry on filming, but I'll end this video here. I hope you have enjoyed this Hannah on a Moor reporting from a moor and I will see you when I see you. I will see you soon. If I survive, if we survive the moors. Gratefully and humbly I give you everything and all that